Welcome back guys. In this session, I'm going to show you how we can do this particular star pattern. Okay, so first thing what you are going to do is put a box around your patterns and write down how many number of rows you want and how many number of columns you want. Here, I have taken I is representing rows and J is representing number of columns. So in each row, I have four columns like this. Okay, so first I'm going to write the I loop. Okay, so here I have taken I to start from 1 till 7. So here I'm going to write that one itself. So I I'm going to say I you start from 1, I should be less than or equal to 7. Okay. So inside I loop, I'm going to start the J loop. Okay, J loop starts from 1, okay, and it ends only till 4. So that is what I'm going to change here to 4. Okay. Now, second uh, next, uh, what you are going to do is you are going to write down all the index values of J where you want to see the stars okay so here i want to see the star at only at 1 okay when i equal to 2 i want to see the star at 1 and 2 not at 3 at 4 okay so now when i is equal to 3 i want to see it as see it as at 1 2 and 3 okay not at 4 then when i is 4 i want to see it at 1 2 3 and 4 but next when i is 5 i want to see at only 1 2 and 3 again okay i don't want to see it at 4 so when i is 6 i want to see the star being printed on 1 and 2 index not 3 and 4 when finally i is 7 i want to see the j value only at 1 okay if these conditions satisfies then only we will print stars okay or else we'll print a space these white spaces over here okay so one by one let me write down all those conditions so first uh, when i is 1 j should be uh, less than or equal to 1 okay i don't want to see it at 2 3 and 4 okay so i'm giving less than or equal to symbol so Next, when i is 2, j should be less than or equal to 2. When i is 3, j should be less than or equal to 3. Then, j should be less than or equal to 4 here. Here, again, j should be less than or equal to 3 one more time. And here, j should be less than or equal to 2. And finally, at i equal to 7, j should be less than or equal to 1. Okay, so this is the condition. Okay, now, here, okay, I have to come up with a number which increments itself okay until i's value is 4 okay then again it should start decrementing itself like this okay suppose if i say j should be less than or equal to a this a should be 1 when i is 1 and then it should start incrementing itself to 2 like this 2 3 and 4 Okay, but as soon as i value reaches 5, it should start decrementing itself to 3, 2 and 1. Okay, because this j will be same for all the values like this. j if it is less than or equal to a, j is or equal to a like this for all the conditions of like this. Okay, this a value should be equal to 1. a value should be 2, a value should be 3 like this. Okay. So what I will do at the beginning of the program itself, I'm going to initialize a value integer a to be zero. Okay. When the I loop starts, okay, there I will mention one if condition saying that if the I value, if it is less than five, okay, you start incrementing the value of a. like this or else again open curly braces and I will say tick start decrementing the value of a okay else part is where the i would have reached 5 okay so like this first it will increment itself then it will decrement itself okay so that is the if condition we are going to give here that if j value okay if it is less than or equal to the value of a you print the star okay or else you print space Okay, so first a value is 0, i loop starts, okay, and it will check whether i means i will start from 1, 1 is less than 5, yes. So what you have to do, you have to increment the value of a. So a value from 0, it will become 1 here, okay, and it will print star, okay. So this is what the condition is to print this particular pattern, okay. So now let's come to the IntelliJ and here first uh, let me say J should be less than or equal to A. If this be the case, you print star or else you print space. Okay, we have taken care of that. Okay, now 
at the beginning of the program before the i loop okay i'm going to initialize a value integer a to be zero put semicolon over here and uh, come inside the i loop okay inside the i loop i'm going to give in an if condition saying that if uh, i value if it is less than five okay then open curly braces and say you increment the value of a like this okay then close the curly braces or else uh, open curly braces one more time and say a minus minus that is decrement the value of a if i value has reached 5 okay 5 6 or 7 it is start decrementing the values okay 1 2 3 4 it keeps incrementing that number and that is what we have mentioned in our main if condition which prints the star or it prints the space so now save the program and let's check what's okay we are going to get a perfect right angle, uh, right side triangle, you can say star pattern like this. Okay. So, thank you very much for watching this video, guys. I'll show you in the next pattern programs.